Hi, I'm Moon, and welcome back to my channel for another Star Stable update. So today, uh, it's going to take you a while to get on because it, they have actually done a lot of um, changes in the in the <clears throat> technology aspect of the game. Um, so it is a large upload, and so what they expect suggest doing to make it shorter to be done is to uninstall star stable and reinstall it <clears throat> because it will shorten the amount of time it takes to download it download just the update itself okay so that is a tech update that they've done Okay, so today, part of the update and the information in, on the website, we have quest dependency changes. <clears throat> they said they've gone back through many quests in Silverglade and Golden Hills and changes to some of their dependencies. So now this is going to change things about how quickly you can get from one um, location, um, like getting into Golden Hills. Um, they've changed some of the, the quests needed to get to the next step that everybody tries to get to, like to get to Epona and stuff like that. Um, in your quest log, you'll now clearly see what quests are main story quests the story, and, and which quests are side quests. <clears throat> for some quests, they've changed the requirements for how and when they unlock to clean up some confusion about how to progress through the story. This also means quests will be a bit more evenly spaced out per level, as some have been moved closer to the beginning of the game, so you'll reach certain areas sooner, and some have been moved to later levels. This does not affect the quests you have already completed. So we've moved the reputation factors. Oh, wait a minute. I scrolled too far. Uh, we've removed some day blockers. You know those pesty things where it says, oh, you have to come back tomorrow uh, for the rest of the quest. They've removed some of those so that you don't have to sleep overnight or wait until the next day to continue. Uh, they added day blockers to some quests where it made sense to take a break before continuing. Okay, they've removed reputation factors, factions, Keepers of Aideen, Sun Circle, Keepers of Aideen, the Lightning Circle, and Inner Circle lightning circle along with reputation quest tied to them to give you smoother less confusing we heard your frustrated feedback experience playing our main story so that's cleaned up <clears throat> when they released golden hills valley in 2012 their intention was for players to unlock it at level 12 and then more and more quests have been added. Many players went on other journeys instead. And sometimes they couldn't unlock it until higher levels. Like Anzia just unlocked it at 16. So that's definitely progressed to, you know, to be a higher level to get in there. Um, they've changed the dependencies for unlocking Golden Hills. And you will now be able to unlock it at level 12. As long as you have visited the Secret Stone Circle previously. So that's going to be a... a Good to hear because i have quite a few people i know who have been anxiously awaiting getting in there and they're like level 15 so they're going to be happy to know about that some quests previously given out by elizabeth have now been handed over to other npcs to prevent players from getting stuck in quests after rescuing Anne from pandoria some quests have received minor text rewrites to make sure that they still make sense al along with these changes these changes do not affect the XP you collect when play. Okay, so that's a lot of changes. So it's something we're going to probably see more as we're going along. The Sun Circle training is leaving. It doesn't change the play in any way. You'll just move right on to the next things instead. Uh, so that's a move up. Okay, so let's start checking out this uh, quest that we have. Oh, yeah, and all of the... Um, Soul Riders and their horses have been changed throughout the whole game. No matter where you are in the game and in your questing, they are all updated now. So they're going to all be this newer version, no matter where you are. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so back to today's quest. Um, Catherine's Diary. So after the events of the Light Ride 
And for those of you who are just going to be getting into Golden Hills, you're going to have to do the light ride before you can do this and have gotten, had found the diary with Linda. Okay? So you have to have been able to do that first. So once you do that, then this will come in. Uh, this chapter of the Soul Rider, uh, Soul Rider story arc is a standalone quest and not mandatory to complete in order to play future quests. Uh, you have to be a Soul Rider to do this and have gotten the journal with Linda from the um, Light Ride. Okay, so let's go see what the quest involves. Hey, Linda. Hi, Piper. I'm glad you're here. I've been thinking about our little problem with Catherine's diary, and I think I might have a solution for how to read her diary. Ride with Linda and meet her to Jorvik Stables. We'll write it ourselves. No, not like fan fiction, although I'd have to admit, making up my own stories about past generation of soul writers does sound a lot of fun. Sound like a lot of fun. There might be a way for us to see the past through Catherine's eyes and bring her words back to life with the power of the moon circle. I have an idea how we can test my theory, and it wouldn't take long. Will you join me for a ride to Jorvik Stables? Meet you outside. Okay. Got up on the wrong side. Okay. My horse can't come with me. What? There we go. Okay. I must have been too close to the apartment. <laughs> Ooh, she's leaving without me. <laughs> I had to take a moment. I had to text. <laughs> I thought she'd wait for me. <laughs> There's so much history to this place. Can't you feel it? There's so many memories here. Now we just have to find the right ones. Collect the memory fragment and follow up with Linda. Living things have memories, but places can have memories too. Moon Circle allows those who master it always to see the unseen with the power of soul sight. As you have a proclivity to for all four circles, you should be able to master this yourself in time. But for now, we'll help each other. Close your eyes and think about the voice you heard in Aideen's whisper. Catherine, picture her at Jorvik Stables. What is she doing? Who does she meet? Now, brace yourself. I'm going to share my soul sight with you. <clears throat> Can you see it? I saw a dot. The glowy butterfly? Yes, it's an echo from the past. A memory fragment, if you will. There should be a few more around the area. If you can find them all, then I can help you reconstruct the memory. Oh, okay. Do I collect it? Yep. Oh, it says it's fulfilled already. All I had to do was get one. Huh, okay. Peter and I will wait here. Let's speak again once you found all of the memories around Jorvik Stables. Okay, Linda, I'm back. With a bunch of memories, pieces. Now that you found all the fragments associated with one of Catherine's diary pages, we can use Soul Sight to reassemble the memory. Shall we begin? 
explore the memory space to restore Catherine's diary. Time is fluid. Navigating the past can be as filled with uncertainty as prophesying the future. The soul side power has lets us navigate the sea of memories. You'll be our compass. The fragments you found are like pieces of a map. And I'll be your captain. But enough with the metaphors. Engage. We are now inside of Catherine's memory. Sometimes memories can be misleading or even dangerous, but this one seems pretty straightforward. Whatever you do, don't step on any butterflies or you could disturb the timeline and take us back to a present day full of vicious dinosaurs. Ooh. <laughs> Just kidding. Memory space doesn't work like that. We can't alter the timeline, only try and understand it. Walk closer to the butterflies to bring the memory into focus. Okay. Walk closer to the butterflies. I don't see them. What do you mean walk closer to the butterflies? Oh, there's circles. Oh, okay. Well, that was pretty cool. It worked! By piecing the memory together, I was able to restore Catherine's memory in her diary. You should be able to read about this day in Catherine's own words. Lower book unlocked. One of fifteen. Okay, so I'm going to leave this part right here as and let you go on from there. And... Uh, Enjoy the rest of the searching. Um, I understand that there's going to be more areas that we're going to have to do this in. So those will continue in, in another video. Uh, right now, I just want to mention that next week... Uh, oh, coming next week, epic things are happening in our headquarters. And good things come to those who wait. Next week's update will be a bit on the smaller side. But according to rumors, Farah, the druid designer, is making a permanent home in Jorvik. Also, make sure to read our news article next Wednesday to learn more about soul riding. So that's it for today's update. I'll see you guys next time and enjoy your questing. Bye! Oops, I see one over here. Oh, there's one. Oh, let's see. Oh my goodness, there's a lot of them. There's ten of them at Jorvik Stables. So you're just going to want to keep an eye on this book here, because we now have the butterfly page. Okay. Wow, there's a lot of them. There's one over there. There's one. Oh, there's one. see how many we've got so far. There's four more. But there's one.
Okay, so I had seen that. Did you see that from up there? So I'm trying to... Yep, there we go. Sorry I wasn't talking. <laughs> There's one. But then I looked over the edge there. I keep looking over the edge just thinking that they're going to be hiding something down there where I can't see it. One more. Okay, one more. Oh, wait a minute. What about over here? I didn't check this. I actually didn't even think, didn't know that there was a path here. <laughs> this looks like a possible. Oh wow, this goes to show I don't explore much. I didn't even know these were up here. <laughs> Very cool. Oh, look, 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 that's the last one. Where'd it go? Hey, get back here. I didn't even know this area was up here. So this one's right above the front, the um, cafe thing. I had a premonition that you found all of the fragments of one of Catherine's memories. Meet me at Jorvik Stables and we'll place them together, piece them together. All right, guys, we got them. Yeah.